I am going to tell you a story about a beautiful little yellow hen who is a sister to this one who's been a wonderful mother and she is out of the same pair that had a beautiful Latino hen who was egg bound and that hen was born in 2017. Over here are two sisters to that egg-bound hen. They are younger and they are still with us. And egg binding is something that probably occurs when a hen is too young to be laying eggs or is not getting enough calcium. And um, I discuss that issue in my book, but we will talk about what happened to this little bird who survived. This is a copy of my book, Rosy Bird's Guide to Small Exotic Birds, by Gailey Lewis. And on page 91 is a chapter on egg binding, how to rescue your hen. And the person with this Latino hen who was egg bound followed these instructions. The hen didn't immediately lay the egg. She thought she heard it crack when she inserted the uh, eyedropper a little too far maybe and usually they tell you that a bird will die when the egg is broken inside but this little bird survived and we'll explain why I think um, I'm going to read to you some of the reasons why um, egg binding might occur um, inadequate calcium in intake excessive egg laying um, restrict the number of clutches per year. Soft shells, possibly inadequate vitamin D to absorb calcium. Poor hub husbandry, unclean cages or fouled water. Low temperature, chills. Um, consider a, a nearby space heater if the weather is cool. Or small bodied hens that are too young, undersized or unhealthy. So those are some of the reasons. This is a photo of a, an egg that was soft and that hen survived laying that egg. And as I tried to tell you, um, this book is very helpful. Help, it should, it's full of information. So I hope you'll consider getting a copy if you don't already have one. This is Blossom and she is actually a sister of the bird that had uh, egg binding and Blossom has had many healthy clutches and one of the things that I always make certain is the birds have plenty of large cuddle bones and she had pretty much chewed the one in back. So this, this is her cuddle bone and that's Blossom and Songster and they've done very well. They're um, on their third year of having baby birds and they've all been healthy. She's never had any egg binding. In fact, none of these birds have had egg binding. And I think a lot of it is I give them a lot of green vegetables and they have large cuddle bones that they can chew and mineral block and there's a rabbit salt block that I recommend you provide them with. They have iodine and other valuable minerals in them. So even down here there's, all the birds have a rabbit salt block. There's one there on a holder and I have a broken one here on the ground for her. And over here is my spoiled favorite bird. There's my sunset. They have a rabbit salt block down there on the ground and they also have one over here in a holder. So they, you know, they have everything. I want to make sure they have everything they could possibly need. Yeah, hi Sunset, I love you. Yes, I do. I forgot to add when I was talking about vegetables. Um, it's, you know, spinach doesn't hurt the birds. It, they can eat it, but spinach inhibits the 
absorption of calcium. And you want your hens and younger birds to be able to absorb all the calcium they possibly can to be, you know, if they're young, they, they're still developing and strengthening their bones. And the hens feeding the babies are, you know, they need calcium for egg production and to feed the young. So avoiding spinach is a good idea at any time. Uh, like I said, it's, they like it, it doesn't hurt them, but it's not the best choice because of the lack of, the, the way it keeps them from absorbing enough calcium. So feed them kale, feed them broccoli, feed them green beans, peas, corn is okay in limited amounts, um, but avoid spinach. So, and this little tail over here, this is peaches. What you doing, sweetie pot, huh? And up there is Stormy, my beautiful Stormy. Um, we really love these birds. Uh -huh. Okay, come on, off you go. So what I was trying to tell you is that uh, her little hen, actually, um, she took him to took her to a a vet to a Dove Lewis emergency clinic, and they recommended putting the bird down. Um, they did give it some, I guess, some pain meds and some fluids, and suggested it probably wouldn't survive. Instead of putting it down, she took it home, continued to give it pain meds and keep it warm, moist. I think she gave it some more uh, mineral oil in the vent and maybe by mouth. And the egg was not laid, but the bird started to get better, started to recover. And after the holidays, she called an avian vet, talked to her, and the avian vet suggested that Maybe what had happened is that the broken egg flushed out with the feces of the bird. And if you are familiar with egg-laying hens, their feces are quite messy, moist, big, bloppy things compared to normal if they're not laying eggs. So it'd be easy to maybe not see the pieces of shell in there and uh, that she probably had just passed it. and. The woman didn't know that, and so that bird, if you're at all a bird lover, never give up on them, because that bird is recovering, doing very well. Of course, the eggs that she would have laid, um, once you have mineral oil in your vent, it's gonna be a year for it to get out before you want the bird to continue to try and raise offspring. So in another eight months or so, she could let her Let's try again, but make sure she has plenty of calcium and fresh green vegetables like kale or broccoli. And cooked peas are another good thing. Cooked green beans are okay. Things like that, they just love. So that's my advice. Don't give up on your bird. Keep them very warm if they're sick. Moist air is good. Steam a cup of a cup of hot water that's steaming inside a tent around the cage. Don't put the cup of hot water in the cage. Keep it outside where it's safe from the birds, but the steam can get inside and keep them warm and very warm, no matter what kind of sickness they have, especially for egg binding. And like I said, there's more detailed information over here in my book. And there it is again. I recommend you get a copy if you love small exotic birds and uh, it just may save you some future problems. So good luck and have a wonderful time with your feathered friends. Bye bye.